the M2 MacBook Air because we love the MacBook Air here. I've, I, that's what I traveled with. The, I've got the M1 Air. The screen got a little bigger by pushing out and adding a camera notch. Uh, the screen got brighter, 500 nits. It's a new design. It's a squared off design. Again, I... You know, I, I don't regret our family vacation at all, but at all, but I do uh, wish that the timing had worked out such that I had been able to head out to Cupertino and actually touch one of these in person because I want to see how it feels. The the MacBook Pro, the you know, the M1 based MacBook Pro is also a squared off design, and that feels very chunky. I'm curious how this squared off design of the new MacBook Air compares. It, it is light, right? It's 2.7 pounds. The M1 Air and, and the Intel Air that preceded it were 2.8. So it is less. Um, so hopefully hopefully it doesn't feel chunky uh, or chunkier. Yeah, I, I was never crazy about the wedge design, though. I, I you But you never had one. I no, loved I have not. I Correct. love the wedge design. Oh, I, okay. Well, it's because it's, I mean, it's great. It's thin. It's, you know, it's thick where it needs to be. And that's it. It like, I, I've always loved that design. I don't, the chunkiness of the, the MacBook pro was like, Oh, well this feels like, you know, a, a Dell or something like it's, mm -hmm. it's not quite, I mean, it's, it, but it's sort of like, well, okay, like fine. It, it feels like a computer. Whereas the, the air, with the wedge design feels sleek. So I'm, I'm curious to see how the, the sleekness of this new one is. I, I will be shocked if this one feels chunky or else they wouldn't be calling it an air, you know, at 2.7 pounds and uh 20% less volume is what they're saying. And less than a half inch throughout. Yeah. I mean, this, I, I think I could be wrong, but you know, I think the Apple put, put their brains together and came up. Yeah, I'll be shocked if it if it feels chunky. Yeah, no, I I mean that's why I, I'm I'm yeah. giving it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I'm I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, MagSafe is back. And MagSafe is back. Yeah, yeah, Love right. That MagSafe is back on that. Yep. Um, I'm guessing you can charge either way, MagSafe or USB C. Oh, I bet you're right. Yeah. Which is how it is on the on the MacBook Pro with MagSafe. You can you can do either, which is great because you know when you're traveling. If you don't have a MagSafe connector with you, you need to be able to charge your device, and it's nice to you know to have that. So yeah, yeah, I've yeah. just learned to have yeah. two chargers: one I leave at home, and one I leave in my suitcase. Oh, I, oh, I have yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, yes. There's no other way to travel if you're moving things from like your desk or your bedside table into your travel bag when you travel, and you forget it, once. It, you will forget it once, and then you will have a set of two. Yeah. That's right, one one for traveling, and one not one for not. Yeah. Yeah. And they get expensive when you have to add the Uber each way to the Best Buy to get your. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, the the cost on those triples when when Uber is involved in getting you to and from. That's right. right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But um, I mean, the thing is, I never really considered getting the Air because at least the 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 first few were honestly kind of wimpy as far as processor and stuff like that. Whereas now, yes. I mean, that's not a problem anymore. Right. Right. That's, that's fair. That yeah. was the reason I really avoided it. Um, the other thing is I just like a big screen and they're not quite there yet. I mean, of course there is the M1 MacBook Pro 16 inch. Correct. Which will probably be my next machine, but I'll, I'll scratch my head a little bit more. The, the air may, have a place in my future computing mm. life. Well, if if you, you know, if you're using it at home more than you're using it on the road, then the big screen becomes more of a benefit than a liability. Mm. But if you're using it more on the road than at home, then I would say that that math kind of flips, mm. uh, you know, just, just because. And also the MacBook Pro 13 inch got the M2 chip. <laughs> yes. Right, but the 16-inch MacBook Pro still doesn't have it. Neither does the 14-inch. But I'm guessing that's coming uh, real soon. I'm looking at the specs here for the MacBook Air, and Brian Monroe in our chat room at uh, live.macgeekab.com noted that it only has support for one external display. 
And he is right about that. So it sim simultaneously supports full native resolution on the built-in display and one external display with up to 6K resolution. So same limitation on the M2 as the M1 in terms of the the way the graphics can support external displays. If you want more than more than two total displays, you have to go with some display link solution or something that's going to do, you know, USB based video for you, which isn't it. It's totally fine for many things. Uh, it's probably not fine for gaming and any, you know, fast refresh work, but, uh, hmm. but yeah. Yeah. What else did they mention? Uh, 1080p camera, I guess we didn't have that before. We did not. It was, it's been 720p in uh in the the macbook air for for it got yeah. it went from 15 frames per second to 30 frames per second when we jumped to m1 and added some smarts presumably borrowed from the iphone that made the camera look so much better I, like it got remarkably better but it still was not 1080p and and i i caution us as always i caution us all to not get too hung up on the the numbers of a camera, you know, 4K camera versus a 1080p camera versus a 720p. The frame rate's going to matter more. The 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 smarts between the camera, the camera lens and the screen upon which the image is displayed, those clearly matter more than just the you know, the the specs of the camera, but being able to capture more isn't a bad thing. It's just not necessarily the answer so yeah yeah mm -hmm. and then just a minute ago you had the uh the other thing up not a big technical thing but it comes in four colors now so it does yeah the, to see which of those colors is the, the, the four popular yeah the four colors are silver space gray starlight which is gold and midnight which is sort of this dark blue ish kind of yeah. thing uh, which is the color of my apple watch uh, right right <laughs> yeah yeah so. I'll be interested to see though if there's any value difference because remember in the back in the day, I think I think the white MacBook was more valuable on resale than the black MacBook. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To see, yeah. You know, and I think some of the phones are that way too, whether it was gold or right. black or gray right. or yeah. Right. 